18. Weather from where you live. Well, severe weather reports today. Had reports of large hail on the White Cass County line, one inch in diameter. Also, some hail, one inch in diameter, southwest Carroll County, and wind gust of 60 miles an hour reported at Tipton. And we did receive a reported image from Rhonda Klingerman of that storm as it approached Tipton from the northwest. It did uh, knock a few tree limbs down there. And this is our Renaissance can. A beautiful shot. A little sun peeking in. You can see the tops of some scattered thunderstorms. These are cumulonimbus clouds as we look towards the west and southwest from downtown Lafayette towards Purdue. And you can see the scattered storms still in the area. Where you have the most lightning, those are the most intense storms at the moment. Now, as we zoom in a little bit tighter, you're going to see a couple of things here. First of all, the light rain in White County. Now, the heavier rains have left most of White County, but County Dispatch did report a lot of roads in the southern part of the county are underwater. None are closed, but there's a lot of water on county roads, so keep that in mind if you're traveling. This is the storm that produced the large hail briefly on the White Cass County line about uh, 15 minutes ago. It is weakening, but it's slowly moving eastward into the Logansport area and up towards Royal Center and eventually 12 mile. Now, farther south, just scattered non severe showers and a few thunderstorms from Attica, Stockwell, Linden, Monroe, and Clarks Hill. Pretty good storm here. Eastern Clinton County headed for Tipton County once again. And as we move northward, this is a pretty intense storm here in northern Newton and northern Jasper County. This could produce some wind gusts of 40 to as much as 50 miles an hour as it moves eastward towards the far northern part of the county. And you can see why some of the roads in southern White County are underwater and even perhaps Newton Jasper. This zone where you see the dark green, that area has had up to two, two and a half inches of rain over the past few hours. We'll go to the maps now, and you know it's it's kind of the same song and dance. It's the ring of fire pattern. You've got the dome of heat, the ridge here, and the storm clusters on the periphery of it. And that's going to be the case really right to Sunday night. Scattered storms every day, some severe at times, at least isolated severe, uh, with the heat and humidity. And then we get some slightly cooler air, air in by early next week. So a few scattered storms tonight, but there'll be a bow of storms with a damaging wind threat just northwest of our area and whatever is left of that may get in here late tonight, early tomorrow morning with an isolated severe wind threat. Those get out of here. We calm down a little bit for a while tomorrow morning, but notice what happens tomorrow afternoon. It's the same thing over again. Scattered storms will blossom. Can't rule out a few going severe with isolated wind, isolated hail. And you know what? It's the same thing on Saturday. Most of the day may be OK, but I think by late afternoon and evening, Again, isolated, severe wind and hail threat will come back in. There's the seven day, hot and humid until Sunday, and then a little less humid Monday, Tuesday, highs near 84. 87 Wednesday with a few scattered storms, but then cools off nicely. We may get three days with temperatures below normal in the upper 70s to around 80. So that'll be nice late next week. Three days with no rain, too, right? And three days with no rain. That'll be nice. Okay, thanks, Jeff. Sure. Well, one of my favorite cold.